What? Hello, hello, hello! Welcome, everyone. I'm Jamil, the Arab Mamba, and you you got accepted into UIUC. You're going to be an engineer at UIUC. First and foremost, congratulations. That is a very, very difficult thing to accomplish. You should honestly be very, very proud of yourself. So if you don't know who I am, if this is the first time you're seeing my video, my name is Jamil. I'm a sophomore in computer engineering at the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. And um, I'm making this video, I'm calling it Tips for Freshman Engineers Coming to UIUC, so that I can give you guys some tips that I wish I knew coming in or some, some pieces of advice that would have helped me you know, transition better into the university. Let's get right into it. Number one, be ready. I don't know how to put this lightly. This is not easy. This is rigorous. You need to be ready to grind, right? I mean, you'd also, and like more importantly, this is a huge university. It's not just engineers here. This is a university of undergrads and grads accumulating to around 45,000 people all around the same age, all going crazy. This is a party school. And with that being said, you are going to be given some times where you don't know whether you want to have fun or you want to study. And it's going to be a really hard decision because now you're in college. You don't have mom and dad there to, to tell you what to do or when to do it. When you have full freedom of what to do with your life, the decisions can get tough. And even with decisions as simple as, should I go out and party or should I just study because I have a test tomorrow at 8 a.m.? Or should I sleep in early because I have a test tomorrow at 10 a.m.? Also, 10 a.m. is early in college, if you didn't know that. Be ready to grind. You need to come in with that mindset of you, you have to know why you're here. And a good tip on how you can be ready to grind is find a study regimen ASAP. What does that mean? It should take you about maybe two to three weeks. Well, as a freshman, it might take you one or two months in, into your first year to figure out a study regimen just to get used to it. But regardless, you need to figure out for each and every class what days you want to study, how often you want to study, and when you need to get those assignments done. Now, obviously, even myself, like I have a regimen. I don't necessarily follow it. But having the regimen is that baseline, right? If you can give yourself this baseline bare minimum, it really helps you organize yourself going forward. Whereas if you're just going crazy off the cuff, not writing anything down, it can really be easy to lose track of everything. So find a study regimen ASAP. You need to use that study regimen to set the tone for the rest of college. Number two. Number two is an interesting one. <laughs> um, humble yourself. <laughs> maybe I should maybe I should rephrase number two. Maybe not humble yourself. Get ready to be humbled. When I first came here, like I understood that these kids were going to be smart. These kids are so like brilliant. All these students make me feel so dumb. Like a lot of these kids they were the top dogs in their high school. Maybe like you watching this right now, they were probably one of the top kids in their high school, used to being at the top, used to being at the smartest, used to like, if anybody needs any answers, anybody needs any help on work, they go to you. And then when you're in college, you'll be doing problems that might take you a couple hours just to see some kid do it in, in like five minutes. Like it's, it's insane. And it really can throw you off and it, it can have a severe toll on your mental health. It can give you an identity crisis because you always thought you were one thing and all of a sudden you're met with these brilliant minds from literally all over the world showing you, hey, you're, you're not as special as you thought you were. It is perfectly okay to not be the smartest person in the room. Listen, I am never ever the smartest person in the room and I'm perfectly okay with that. You know why? Because I don't think book smarts is what's gonna make me successful in life. Maybe in high school book smarts is what gave me value but when you're in college it's so much more than that like just simply being smart by the book is only going to get you so far and honestly if that's your entire personality trait <laughs> you need to find some things to do man and let me speak about the dark side for a second when i say it can have a toll on your mental health i mean imposter syndrome 
I cannot tell you how many times I look at these other students that I'm working with and they just get things so easily and it makes me feel like how did I even get here? Did, did, I, did I deserve to be here? My ACT scores were not as high as these kids and I look at all these other students succeeding, doing things so much better than I am and it can really, really catch up to you very quickly. And it got to a point where I didn't know what to do anymore. But after a while, I started realizing that, listen, they're not the ones who are graduating for me. I'm graduating for me. It doesn't matter how they're doing. It just matters what I do. As long as I get through it, that's all that matters. You know, it doesn't matter how other people are doing. It matters what you are doing, what your journey is. Number three, stay persistent. Keep your eyes on the prize and accept failure with grace i know how i said like everyone a lot of these kids are so smart i don't care how smart you are you are going to fail you are not going to get the results that you want on every single assignment i 150 percent guarantee you that you just you need to get through that your get that through your head right now you are not going to do exactly how you want in every single assignment and that also took a mental toll on me when I was a fr when I was a freshman. If I got like a 75 on a test, that destroyed me. Now if I'm getting a 75 on a test, I'm happy. Because you know what? The class average might have been a 75. It might have been an 80. It might have been a 70. But if I'm staying at that 75 range, I'm passing, baby. I'm doing well. I don't care. The key is to remind yourself why you're here. You know, that, that rigor, not doing well consistently, not doing well in exams can really throw you off. It'll make you question why you're here to begin with. And once you realize that like after college, your grades don't even matter anyway. You just want to see a degree. All these companies just care about a degree. You're just going to care about the learning process, which is the most important, is that you learn and that you're going to get through it. That's all that matters. Number four, GPA is not everything. I touched on this before. For many engineers, all you need to do is graduate four and done that is the beauty of engineering it's as simple as that you've heard it c's get degrees sometimes they do man i'm not advising you do bad and what, honestly what you should do is hold yourself to a high standard and never lower that standard and even if you might not meet that standard all the time keeping that standard high is what's going to keep you going because as soon as you lower your standard then everything else drops so keep a high standard always aim for that standard regardless of what you're doing. Number five, this is the most important one. I, if you haven't listened to anything, please listen right now. Have fun, take risks, do things you wouldn't normally do. These are four years of your life that you are never going to get back. Live life to the fullest. And I know it's gonna feel difficult. You know it's gonna feel like, oh, you're just packed with homework all the time. You don't have time to do anything. But if you organize yourself, you really can find time to do things. Even me, right now. Listen, I just took a test today. It is currently 2.25 a.m. on a Friday morning. I have class at 11 a.m. tomorrow. But you know what? I might hang out with friends at 3 a.m. Because I feel like I deserve it. I worked really hard this week. My Friday schedule isn't that difficult. I don't have anything important going on tomorrow. Anyway, live life to the fullest. So once I get my important stuff out of the way, just have fun. Also, meet people, meet people, meet people, meet people. Say hi, walk up to them. I promise you, I have not met a kid so far doing engineering at UIUC who isn't like willing to meet with you and talk to you and be friends with you. I mean. All of you guys are just kids who left their parents and are, are, are in the free. Meet with them. Everyone's, everybody wants to socialize. It's a very social university. Whether that's you know walking up to a random person in office hours, asking someone for help, finding people to help you in your classes. By the way, that is really, really crucial. I'm surprised I didn't mention that before. In your classes, find a group for each class. Find a group for each class. Find a group for each class. Find people in each class that you are going to work with from beginning to end. Every midterm, every assignment from beginning to end. You need other people. I don't care how smart you are. You are going to need other people to succeed. The stereotype that engineers aren't sociable people is kind of true. A lot of them are not. A lot of them are very shy. But guess what? If you go up to a shy person and talk to them, I promise you 10 out of 10 times they will welcome you with open arms. Just say hi. 
Hi can go a long way. Just do it. This could be your Mark Zuckerberg moment. This can be your Facebook moment. This can be the time where you meet your partner for life. Whether it's making an app or maybe really awesome friends or maybe a future husband or a future wife, you really will meet truly brilliant people. The people here are genuinely mind-bogglingly smart and amazing people just like you i mean you didn't get here on accident you you didn't apply on accident maybe some of you did but you didn't get accepted on accident i promise you that you were meant to be here make the most of it and i cannot wait to see you guys on campus if you see me on campus please say hi please say hi tell me you saw me from my video that would be amazing but yeah that's all i have for you guys today peace out Shh.